<laughs> Hello there ladies and gents, how you doing? And welcome back for another episode of Minecraft on the Village Craft server. Now today ladies and gents, I'm giving out bonus prizes, bonus points, if you know where I am. Any ideas? Any ideas? No? Well, how about if I show you this? No? Nah, right, okay. In between episodes, I've been doing a bit of building work. And if we come up here, this might give you an idea. Hello down there. Yes, that's right. I have gone and, and finished off the roofs of these mob farms. That's right. We have added these four extra levels. And we're nearly finished with these. Because I just need to put a little hut at the top with some lightning rods at the very top. We are at currently at Y level 250. We have six more blocks we can put up. And we'll be doing that possibly later on this episode, maybe in between. I have also gone and redesigned the platform with the trigger. So we now have this room here. Again, all the redstone works. So we have a pressure plate. Now the actual firing mechanism, I've moved it from underground here to inside. Uh, if we come on in. Do, 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 do. Come on round to the door just here. I still need to finish off these doors because we're not quite happy with this. But yes, the trigger, the trigger mechanism is actually down here. Now, I'm not going to jump down because there's no way to actually get up there. There to get back up. <laughs> but yes, so all the wiring is now hidden down there. So we've gone and got quite a bit of building done in between. We have also ripped out the iron farm that we had down here. So yes, now we just have this lovely little archway. Ain't it cute? But yes, we, we no longer need this iron farm as we are working on the Titan. We've nearly got that finished. We might be finishing that off either this episode or in the next one. Because I fancy doing a bit of building. And what we're going to be doing today is related to the mob farm. And it's going to be taking up this plot on the corner right here. Because today, folks, we're going to be putting our first proper shop on the server or oh, actual shop selling products rather than a service yes we're going to be making the mob drop pick and mix right on this corner here which is going to sell all the items that we get from our mob towers but first thing we need to do is i need to make sure that all of our building supplies are secure overnight and while we're away so we're going to move this wall bring it out and we'll put some barricades in the road so that pedestrians can come down. So let me get that done and then we can crack on with the building. Okay, so there we are folks. We've gone and expanded our construction boundary just a little bit. We've also gone and put in some railings and some warning lights for pedestrians. Uh, just so they don't get hit by any traffic. They've still got somewhere to walk. And also, if we come on just around this side, this is the way into the construction site. If we come on out here, here we go. So as you can see, I've extended it out a bit further because eventually on top of this shop, there's going to be another couple of uh, apartments at the top. And the way you get through them is going to be through a lobby area on here. We're going to bring up this path down this way and we'll have a lobby just down here behind somebody's bookshop. But for now, construction site. So just come on in. So this is the area. This 19 by 19 plot is where our shop is going to be. And then we can have the lobby area just coming out here, nestled in between these two bills, just quite nicely. So I think what we're going to do first is possibly crack on and get at least some of the foundations for the walls up. Uh, if we had the replay mod, I would do this in a time lapse with the replay mod. Unfortunately, that isn't available yet. Touch wood, it's available soon. <laughs> But for now, I'm going to crack on and get the outline of the basic shop front. Because there's going to be two stages to this build. We have the general shop frontage, which is about two stories high. And then there's going to be quite a large area in the middle, which is actually going to hold all the floors. But it's going to have sort of a motif on the, this wall and this wall. The two walls that face the street. The walls at the back, they're actually just going to be plain. Uh, because obviously we don't want to make the mistake that we did with the aquarium apartments obviously the wall that goes up against Jeff's glass shop that really should have just been plain stone brick I might actually go through knock out the windows and just brick it up 
Um, unfortunately, Jeff's walls. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Great. I should have really left an alleyway. Um, so that's something we're going to do here. We, there will be a one or two block alleyway in between the builds. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this base foundation set up. And I'll bring you back with a progress report in a moment. Right, well there we go. That is the size of the shop front. So it's 12 blocks high, 19 blocks from, from grey to grey and goes around the other side. But what we need to do now is we're going to work on these shop fronts first before we start doing any internal work or building up so first things first we need to put in the windows and doors now the windows are going to be three by three but they're also going to protrude that's just a big empty space at the moment they're also actually going to protrude along here why will become evident later on so we'll do the same thing on this side um ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. One, two, three. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Right. Um. Right. That's getting dark. Let me just quickly sleep. Do do do. Uh, come on. There we go. Right. So and then we we'll do the same here as well. So we want one, two, three, four, five. Now the doorway is going to be the middle three, just here. So one, two, three, and that is going to be our basic door. Now we are going to be do doing this on both sides. So let's just knock out this side as well. And then the doorways are actually going to be a mixture of quartz pillars and quartz stairs. However, these windows are actually going to be stone brick slabs. Add a bit of a different texture into the build rather than just having it all plain concrete because that's going to look rather bland you don't really want large surfaces of the same block i want to try and mix it up a bit something that uh, i've learned from fix it when he helped me with the guardian farm so we want to try and break up the space so we don't have large areas of bold blocks so yeah that's all those in i'm going to go ahead now and get some i think it's what is it is it the light grey? Yes, we want some light grey inside. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing for these windows. Because we will be having some window displays. Right, so now comes the tricky bit. We've got all this set up. Because obviously we've got four windows. We want four different mobs. So what I'm hoping is that we can lure them one at a time. Up these stairs. They try and chase us. They think the trap door is a solid block. They try and get to us, and then they fall down the hole. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky with the creeper, because we want them to follow us, but we don't want to get too close. So what I'm thinking we might have to do with the creeper is not do this. I need some ender pearls on me to uh, get out of these windows, just in case that does happen. But yeah, uh, we might have to get a water bucket and try and trap the creeper up here, and then push him in with the water. So I'm going to go get prepared. Night time will be upon us soon. And then we need to try and get some mobs in here. Okay, so we have the window displays in. And you know what? This was a lot easier than I thought it would be. We just had some dirt paths going up, trapdoor over the hole, and we let them chase us up. I deliberately went and got the creeper first, just in case he blew anything up, which he didn't. Then we ended up with a zombie in full gold armor. Thank you very much. Uh, then we have a skeleton around here who does have an enchanted bow. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one with, with armor as well. However, he was hiding under a platform just over that way. And then last, but by no means least, over in the entrance to the turtle shop, we found a witch. Aww. So we have a, a witch as well. All four of these are named window display. So what we're going to do now is put a little bit of a roof on top of these. So I shall show you how we're going to do one. And then I'll get the other done as well. And I'm going to put the archways in. So these are going to be pretty simple. What we need to do is knock that block out. And put that in there. Then we have three along there. That there and there. There we go. And then um, let's do it like this. I'll knock these out just to get that in there. 
Thank you. I'm going to do the same on this side. And we want that there. So that gives a nice little canopy for the window. And then next thing we're going to do is if we take some iron bars, run them along the front here and up there. And there we go. So that's a nice little alcove that we're going to have for every single window. So and then the doorways, these are going to be using some uh, quartz pillars and some quartz stairs just to add a bit of to make the doorways pop a bit, having them the white rather than all the greys and the blacks that we've got. So I'll get these all done and I shall bring you folks back when we're ready to actually step inside. Well, I've got the rest of those window canopies done and I've also got the door in place. And there we go. Well, see, we are rather up close, so we can't really get the full effect because we are kind of squashed in. But yeah, so the, the quartz, white of the quartz helps to pop. Then we have these hoppers, which we are actually going to light. So let's see if we can do this. There we go. So we actually have flaming beacons just to add to the uh, atmosphere outside the mob shop. So there we go. And this one. Voila. Now, we need to get up there for those as well. So let's just uh, kill them up here. And while we're up here, we're also, let's see, yeah, if we come across this way. While we're up here, we're going to be putting the sign up as well. Because we actually have a proper sign for this shop. Now, I went ahead and made some banners. And that's what we're going to be using. So we shall start from the, thank you, start from the middle. And the sign is pick and mix. That's right. So let's clear some space here. We shall take these ones first. So let's see. Um, where is it going to go? Yeah, right there. So N. Then we shall do the mix over this side. So M I X. Now I've deliberately put an exclamation point just so it's even. Because it was really bugging me when I tried to do this without it. So let's get this. I and the P. There we go. Pick and mix. Right. Now I'm going to get the rest of this done on the other side as well. Because this is only this side so far. And then we are ready to put in the walls higher up. So yeah. I shall see you in just a moment. And as the sun sets on another day here on the Village Craft server, it's time to start taking this build up a little bit. Because we've, now we have the shop front done, we're going to get the uh, the next stage of this build done. And that is going to be the facade, which is housing all the different floors inside. So what we're going to need here is some black concrete. And we need to go up 33 blocks. Um, the way we're going to do this is it's going to be 33 from here. Now these two at the back, these are just going to be pure black, um, just flush with these pillars. But on these front two, we need to step it back a few little bits. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Let me go ahead and get all of this black concrete in place. This is going to be a lot of black concrete we're going to be using. Yeah, so you think 33 high, 19 along. That's about 10 stacks per facade. So that's 10, 20. And then for these two, probably another, I don't know, three stacks of 20, 23, 24 stacks of black concrete. Yeah, this may take me a while, guys. Uh, I shall see you in, well, for you, it's just going to be a couple of seconds. For me, it might be a day. Right, so there we go. That is all of the black concrete in place. We have the two plain black concrete walls, and then these large open spaces. Now these open spaces are where we're going to put a motif in, but we're actually going to set it back a little bit, just to give a bit more depth to the these walls. I mean, I'm just going to have to sort something out for these back walls. Maybe we'll put some advertising billboards up or something, but they need something. But we'll come to do that later on. For now, these two walls are going to be stepped back. And we're going to do it with a couple of different blocks. 
we're going to be using the coal blocks along just like that and then inside the coal blocks if I just put a bit of dirt down we're going to be using some obsidian just like this just to bring out the blue tint of the black concrete now these are going to be going along as a frame all around both sides of these these walls and then we're going to have some more black concrete on the inside and then we will get our really motif stuck to the front so i'm going to go ahead and get these wall these two walls finished off now this may take me a while and in the next clip you you shall see why yes i was killed by an enderman while i went to collect this obsidian uh, but yeah i'm gonna go get these walls done and then you'll see in the next clip why it's probably taken me a day or two to get these walls finished off well you know what folks that didn't take anywhere near as long as i thought it would I thought getting these next facades up would take me a day at least, if not two. But in fact, I've been able to get it done in about four hours. Because it wasn't really that complicated when I come to think of it. Because what I've done is this. That's right. It's a mob drop shop. So mobs, skulls, there. Yep. We've got a giant skull on the side of our building. And in fact, we've not got not just one. We've got two. That's right. We have two giant skulls. On the side of our mob drop shop. Kind of makes the building stand out a bit, don't you think? And the best view is actually from the top of the jungle shop. So, yeah. <laughs> I rather like that. And what we need to do now is obviously we've still got all the interiors to do. And there's an apartment to put on top. I think the apartment's going to be last. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is actually... Oh, I didn't mean to fall down there, but okay. <laughs> What we're actually going to do now is if we just come around here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is it not, not that one. This one. There we go. Let me in. Thank you. Yeah, now we need to work on the interior. Because at the moment, yeah, it's just an empty shell and all that dirt. Well, all that needs to get hidden away. And then we need to get the internal walls set up. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the internal skin done in this place and then I shall explain how we're going to lay this place out because this mob drop shop is going to be an auto filling auto sorting system where I don't need to do anything in here to restock it all I need to do is stand at the mob platform the on that pressure plate up there on that balcony on that uh, bridge up there so yeah I'm going to get these internal walls done and I shall let you know how we're going to get this place organised. Well, I've gone and got all of the floors in place, folks. And I've also gone and, gone and put the uh, lobby in as well. If we just uh, fly down and have a look. There we go. So, as we can see, Pick and Mix opening soon because it's not done yet. But if we come on in, we have our main entrance lobby. Now, we will have, we will have two uh, villagers here and here. Probably just nitwits. Have the obligatory ender chest. There will be one over there. I'll explain all that in a moment. Now these two chests here are the payment chests. Because the way this is going to work is unlike all the other shops in the area where you put a diamond for the item. In this one, you go upstairs, take how many stacks of the items you want, come down and you will pay. I think it's probably going to be eight stacks for one diamond. You can help yourself to whatever stacks you want. Eight stacks for one diamond. So you come on up here. Nice little bit of decor. I need to put something on this wall up here. We've got some lighting. Just uh, some simple glowstone. Now, you have. I just realised my sound. Why are my sounds down? My sounds are right down. No idea why, but okay. So yes, you have these four elevators going up, and one coming down. Now these four are all exactly identical, all exactly the same. You just go to the four different floors, and each floor will have two items on. If we're coming up, and there we are. As you can see, we have twelve double chests either side. Now this will just be one of the items that we get from the mob drop. So this could be bones or arrows. So you can see. I will get round. We haven't done any of the redstone or the item filtering. We'll do that next episode because this system isn't in place yet. All it is is the cosmetics. 
So then, once you've selected your items, then you come on back down. So like I say, we have four floors, two items per floor, eight items. And yeah, there we are. I'm rather happy with how this is coming out. We still need to get a lot more decoration. Uh, there's some banner designs that I want to get put up in here. Like I say, we still need something on this wall or maybe up there as well. Maybe some paintings. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm going to put some items in the item frame so you know what items are on which floor. So you have one, two, three, and four. Uh, but yeah, there we are, folks. That is the start of Pick a Mix. <laughs> now, this hole here, this is to do with all the item filtering. Hello, witch. This block right here will be going up to the first floor. Now this will be a soul sand item elevator because what we're actually going to do is instead of having the current collection system that we have just down here, I shall show you, all the items are collected in the hoppers. And if you just break this and I'll put that back, all the items are currently collected in these chests. Yeah, we're going to completely change this. We're going to put everything into an ice stream or water stream on an ice path. It's going to go under the wall, under the road, over to that block where we stood on, then up in a soul sand elevator. And then it's just going to carry on in a water channel, up the four floors, with item filtering. So the shop fully restocks itself. All we have to do is stand on the platform. <laughs> so yeah, and then once it's fully stocked, all the items that make it round, um, what we might do is just have them keep going round and round, and it will despawn after five minutes. That way... I'll have to time it. They might get a couple of tries going around the same filter in case that filter is busy. But yeah, folks, there we go. That is... Hang on, let me try and find the way out. Normally to get out of here, I have to dig my way out. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's come on this way. There we go. And it's just becoming nighttime. Fantastic. So there we are, folks. That is the start of Pick and Mix, the mob drop shop. And this is something I've planned for a long time. I was originally thinking of having the skull as the entrance, but the plan I had for that required a plot size about twice as big, so that wasn't going to work. So next episode, we will get the item filter in, get all the item moving, all the items coming from the mob drops into here. And we'll also start on the apartment up the top. Because don't forget, we still need the apartment up there, which is going to have the entrance lobby down a path here in this side. That's right, we still need to do all of this because there will be a lobby here. An express elevator straight to the top. So we will get that done next episode, folks. So thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when all the videos come out. We have two videos a week. Modded Minecraft on Mondays and Villagecraft on Fridays. But until next time, always left me to say, folks. Nom, nom, nom. It's take it easy, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Nom, 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 nom.